The trial of accused serial scammer Candace Clark was supposed to start today after two years, but at the last minute, another court delay. Courthouse sources tell the CBS2 investigators the judge and prosecutor both have COVID. Clark is accused of conning homeowners and businesses out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And as CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker discovered, the cons appear to have continued while Clark has been waiting for trial. It was March of 2020 when the owner of this small bungalow in Calumet City thought he'd found the perfect tenant. She inspected the property. She said she liked it. Decent credit. Check. Good salary. Check. She gave me a reference and I called and she confirmed that uh, she was a good worker. Even better, she paid the first month's rent plus security deposit up front. This is the check stop. She was making lots of money. She was making about 75000 So the landlord, who chooses not to be identified, rented his house to Velvet Dixon. She signed the lease. He handed her the keys. I thought that uh, she was going to be a good tenant. But she wasn't, and the nightmare began. I went to the house several times to demand for rent. I never met Velvet. No returned phone calls. I sent uh, several inspection notices. No response. Velvet Dixon was a ghost. But there was another woman in the house, only she wasn't on the lease. She told me she wasn't living there, that she just came there to spend some couple of uh, days. There was always an excuse. Just came to watch the house, help very clean the house. At the time, the landlord had no clue who this mystery woman was. Wow. But the neighbors sure did. And we was like, that's her. By now, you probably guessed. People were trying to find me. Face. The woman living in the house was none other than accused serial scammer Candace Clark. And my wife, she, that's not her. I, that's her. Ronald Sostan immediately broke the bad news to the landlord, but it was too late. She's a slick lady. I've seen your reports. Her name is Candace Clark. The CBS2 investigators did a series of reports, glued her name, beginning in January 2020, two months before Clark moved into this house. Dorothy Tucker would like to have an interview with you. We tried to talk to Clark several times. What do you say to those people? Candace. To get her side of the story. One thing we wanted to know, why two dozen landlords since 2008 have accused her of cheating them out of some $300,000. Why do no you say, comment. why do you say they're wrong? Our investigation led to Clark's arrest on January 17th, 2020. By the end of the month, she'd posted bail and was out. That means only two months after being arrested, Candace Clark was at it again, involved in yet another con. Only this time, she had help. If Velvet had not applied, Candace would not have been living in my property. But who is Velvet Dixon, and why would she rent a house for Candace Clark? Hello? The CBS2 investigators went digging for answers. Hi. On her rental application, I'm looking for Velvet Dixon. Velvet listed this house in Dalton as a current residence. Since she wasn't living in the Calumet City house, we checked here. But a somewhat irritated person shouted this. No, she doesn't live here. We also searched Velvet's past. She was a student at Percy Julian High School. Guess who else went here? Candace Clark. Back then, she was Candace Dixon. Yep, they're sisters. And sisters take care of each other. So when Clark wanted to get out of jail, her sister put up the $1,500. And when you learned that it was the Candace Clark yeah. living in your house. I was terrified. I, I, I was really terrified. But there was nothing he could do. It was the height of the pandemic. COVID deaths were soaring. The world was shuttered. Plus, there was a moratorium on evictions. It really hurt me that somebody's squatting my house. I couldn't get the person out. The months dragged on. It wasn't until January of 2021, a process server snapped this photo confirming Clark lived here. The following September, a judge signed this eviction order, but it took another four months for this day, January 14th, 2022, nearly two years and $30,000 in lost rent later, What's this paperwork? Candace Clark was evicted once again. Uh -huh. We weren't the only ones who noticed. Yes. We think this may be that Candace Clark. It was. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have a mask on. Clark is allowed to gather a few things. Hold on, one second, I'm trying to find clothes. Before she's forced 
to leave. Thank you, sir. Uh, they left the property in Shambo. Every room filthy. Destroyed my property. Just like she's done before to so many other homes, Clark adds to the pain of property owners by causing thousands of dollars in damages. What would you like to see happen to Candace Clark? I would like Candace Clark to be put away, to go to jail, to be imprisoned. She's destroying families. She's destroying people's lives. She has to be put away. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. Hmm. Candace Clark trial has been pushed back now to June 3rd. You can see more of the exclusive body camera video from the latest eviction and catch up on all of the Candace Clark stories by going to cbschicago.com slash Candace Clark.